Hi everyone, uh, just going to demonstrate on how to set up a uh, CNC use 3040T uh, fourth access with uh, loading with uh, Microsoft uh, Windows uh, Home Edition Windows 10 on 64 bit uh, using uh, Mark 3 software. So, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just turn the uh, camera around into the uh, to the unit, and here we go. Here's the CNC. Yeah, I'll uh, quickly do a uh, demonstration on how to uh, set it up and up and running. But I won't be including everything. It'll be just uh, basically uh, the driver installed, license, uh, X, Y, and Z setup with your ports and pins. Um, and also down here, here, here is the, uh, the controller box. Uh, just on top, I have a, a new chip that I'm going to install. So uh, I'll quickly do this video. Um, I can't stress out on how long this video is going to be. So if you have, uh, if I'm too fast forward for you, just pause the video and uh, rewind and go back to the stages. But um, I'll do it as quickly as possible. All right. So what we're going to do, we're just going to uh, power it on, and uh, we'll have the uh, machine in the background, and we'll have a look through the uh, webcam as we're setting it up. Okay, so just bring the camera over here. Just uh, I'm gonna line it up with the uh, screen monitor. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Um, the blue box, which is the uh, controller box, and also the uh, power supply. Now the uh, computer it has connected to a uh, USB to the uh, controller box and goes to the. Uh, on the uh, controller box to the CNC uh, stepper, stepper motors, which is using a um, parallel port. So in Mark 3, you have to uh, go back into the settings as you're installing it and select a uh, parallel port to have this up and running on uh, Windows 10. But once you have uh, Mark 3 up and, up and running, so uh, I'll bring up Windows 10. I'm going to load up uh, Mark 3. Now in Mark 3, up in the top left hand corner, it will say Mark 3 CNC. Uh, this one here is a, a demo version. So first things first, I'm going to teach you how to uh, install the um, license. So we just close the uh, Mark 3. And uh, we'll just minimize that. Um, I'm just going to bring up Windows for a moment. So here we go, down the bottom here, we've got Windows 10 Home Edition, and we'll come up here and we've got 64 bit operating system. Okay, so this is a uh, Windows 10 64. So we're, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to copy uh, our Mark license. I'm just going to right click on it and copy this file. Going to come back to uh, Mark 3, and now what we're going to do, we're going to click on uh, Mark 3, right click on it, find, um, click on um, open file location. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to place our license in the uh, Mark 3 folder, like so. And there we go. Now, also in uh, the CNC controller box. If you don't have it, it would probably recommend to get in contact with the person that you bought it from and ask if you can get a hold of the uh, chip driver. Uh, the one that I've got here is a R and R monitor. So I'm going to copy this file here. Now I'm going to look for uh, in Mark 3 folder. I'm going to look for plugins. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste this folder back in here. Now that is the driver. So we're now pretty much connected. So we'll uh, reopen Mark, Mark 3. Now you'll see a window will pop up in Mark 3. Like so. Now if you went up into uh, the top left hand corner, it'll say Mark 3 license to such and such. Now if we're able to go into uh, uh, 
say, uh, no, yes, it's already popped up. Uh, plug-in controller, which to scroll down, it'll come into um, the driver. And we'll just uh, reset the uh, our perimeters to zero. Most CNC drivers for the first setup, it'll be the front left hand corner. As for me, that I'll be using my tool quite a lot and changing them around, so I'm going to set my uh, Z in a high end. But how to uh, set up your port and pins? We're going to go across to your top left hand corner and we're going to click on uh, config. First, we'll come down to the uh, select native units. I'm going to use millimeters. Some people might like to use inches. Select that and click OK. Here, we'll go down in config again into ports and pins. And I might just bring this camera a little bit closer so you can see a little bit better. I'll just move the keyboard out of the road. Now, at any time, pause this video. If you need to copy my settings, and hopefully it might work for you. Um, port setup and uh, auxiliary sections. Now, I've got um, port one enabled, etc., etc. You don't really need to change any of that. So, we'll go across to uh, motor output. We've got your X. Y and Z. Uh, I have got an A, so I'm going to turn that on. So I've got that enabled. Uh, go down the spindle. We'll have that selected. Uh, step pins. Zero, 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 all the way down. Spindle is number one. Um, D I R pin. They were all zeros. Um, Everything else should be pretty much all right. Input signals. Uh, I should mention too in the uh, controller box I have the chip and then it's an outbreak boards to the stepper motors. I should mention that to you. But here are my port numbers for uh, X plus plus. That's three. Um, I'll bring this up closer and then I'm just going to scroll down so at any time you just pause the video and just uh, copy the settings. And if I can see where my cursor is. Uh, my ports are threes and my pins are twos. All the way down, uh, except for A, that will be a little bit different. Pretty much all these should be okay. output signal basically they are all ones and zeros until you get down to output I'll just scroll down a little bit and I'll stop it output um, my ports are threes the, and then my pins will be one two three four Roll down and that should be all good. Um, honestly, I don't think there's any other changes apart from that. Um, don't forget to click apply to every time you change it. And here are my settings. Click apply. A OK. Okay, so that's your ports and pins. Uh, motor tuning. Now, this is what I have for mine. 
click on uh, my uh, X auxiliary. Now my steppers is 400. My acceleration is 200. Uh, click on save and then go up to Y. My stepper is uh, 400. My acceleration 200. Click save. Go to Z. Now I've got 400. My acceleration 100. Click apply to save. My A. Uh, which is my um, I don't actually use it so really I don't really need it but I've got 2,000 per steps acceleration is um, 4 click apply to save um, spindle uh, I've actually got a um, step uh, per millimeters, I think it is. Uh, 100. Um, I've got 120 millimeter per second. So um, acceleration is 400, uh, 4. And then click save. Click OK, and then there. There we go. Next one down, uh, general configurations. I'll just bring this up. Honestly, I don't think there was any changes to this, but I'll bring it down. And there we go. Just put the camera down for a moment. Um, homing and limits I wouldn't worry about it too much at this stage um, does it that's entirely up to you guys if you just want to how, how to set your limits and homing tool pass um, that's okay you don't need to change any of that uh, slaves I uh, don't need any of that Okay, uh, backlash. Um, once you've done all that, click on save settings in config. Okay, um, just going to hit reset on uh, Mark 3 just to clear all of the errors. And just going into diagnostics. Uh, offsets um, Pretty much I think that's it Okay, I think that's it yeah. I'll just uh, Make some changes here for a moment set the camera back up Now if you use your uh, keyboard the arrow keys on your keyboard next to your number pad you should have uh, movement um, I'll just bring up the webcam you can see I don't know if you can see it just bring this up a little bit yeah, you may be able to see the numbers change in my X Y should be able to see him move, but I'll bring up the webcam again so you can see it in the background. Um, I'll just move my Y backwards. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Or, if I do this, minimize. And that's the side a little bit. Yeah. 
should be able to see that in the background moving like so now I'm just going to press uh, page down for a second and you'll see the Z dropping um, like so now if you were to click on over here go to zero it'll go back to those coordinates and there we go now that's where I've got my G54 locked in position and my home position I'll just go back to the main screen so once you've done that you can close the application uh, exit session, yes. Uh, fix save yet, yes. Yeah. We uh, have Mark three. Um, I'll just change the camera a little bit, and we'll click on uh, reset. Reset the values. Um, get offsets. Now I've got the uh, machine set at. X and Y at zero points. My Z, I have it at high end because I will be changing the cutter tools every five minutes or so, or depending on what cutter I'm using and the length of the cutter. So I'm going to set my Z at high end. So I'll lock in uh, G54 and go down the bottom, save work offset, G54, save, and there we go. Now what we can do is save uh, G55, say in the middle of the bed, and there we go. But I'm just going to exit this, and hopefully that gets you guys up and running on uh, on our uh, Windows 10 Home Edition 64-bit uh, with Mark III on the uh, CNC 6040T um, because I'm going to do an upgrade on this I'm going to take the uh, chip out and do an upgrade I'm also going to add some uh, limited switches in here uh, which which I'll have one installed here somewhere about here with a uh, my X and Y I'll have one underneath here somewhere underneath the bed and my Z up here which I'll be having at a high end and I'll also be installing the uh, the probe tool, pro tool probe changer so there we go there's your 6040T uh, hopefully that gets you guys up and running and thanks for watching Thanks. Bye.